shoot the outside ash here, we don't knock people down to the mat, okay? And maybe we knock them down to the mat and they stood back up, or maybe we shot our legs up and we couldn't knock them down to the mat. So this here is one of the nightmare positions where I got my feet to the outside, I have my ankle lock grip here, but I can't seem to knock Theodore down, okay? Now what he can do from here is he can start to kind of go into a leg drag where he pulls his knee in, yeah, pull it in, he leans forward, he comes in and he tries to crush me here, right? As long as his foot's standing on the mat and my legs are locked, I can still work from here. But worst case scenario is he gets a hold of my head, he sprawls his leg back, and I'm screwed. Let's just show that from the other angle. So, all right. So what I don't want to happen here is he comes in, he grabs my head, look at this angle here, he sprawls it through, he breaks the lock of my legs, and now I'm in a terrible position. This kind of problem is one of the reasons why people don't use this position more because it's kind of devastating when you feel like you're going for a leg lock and you just get fucking crushed. So, let's just rotate a little bit. This is also one of the reasons why I don't switch to this uh, immediately. Like I like to just stop in a single leg for a moment. Mm -hmm. But there's still stuff we can do from here. So if I'm in here, right, he maybe drops to a knee, he comes in here. First and foremost, I want to monitor his shoulder line here by using my top arm here. So I kind of frame, making sure I check both shoulders, or if he's a little bit further away, that I check the near shoulder here. So it's harder for him to get in, okay? He's looking to grab my head, pull himself in, and then sprawl his leg back, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna keep distance and I wanna actually go on my other hip. So as he comes in, I'm using this hand to monitor here. If he grabs a hold of my head, I can look to dug out quickly here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my legs, which I can afford to do because this hand is not right on my heel, okay? If I don't wanna end up in a terrible highlight that will scare generations here, I don't wanna open up my legs at the wrong time. But when he's in here, he's not attacking my legs. So look, I post, I hip escape, and I invert this knee, so this knee points down. Now my foot's shallow here, so there's no heel hook right away, and I can even lock my legs up here. From here, I just bias both my knees, I point them down, and I actively push his shoulders away and turn to my side. This will expose his heel to the other side here. I can start to lock up, either he rolls or I finish him here, okay? But we went from defense right back into offense here. So the trick here, guys, and girls here, is when he comes close, I want to monitor the distance. I don't want to stay on my outside hip, I want to hip escape out. So when he's close here, I frame, I put my left leg on the mat here, and I hip escape and point my knee down. Okay, once I have a, once I'm pointed it down, I can relock my legs, and now I'm really focusing on pinching my knees and pointing them down to the mat. This will basically force a reposition here. Okay, if he stays turning that way, I will expose the heel, I can look to extend myself out and finish. Maybe he rolls, I will follow the roll. Land on my elbow, finish him here. Or he tries to turn his knee back in and we can knock him back. So we've, we're playing between our outside hip and inside hip. Outside hip is when we wanna knock him down like this, okay? When that fails, he comes close. My frame, shorten my leg, pointing my knees down. I can even push with my shin here. And I wanna force a reap here. If he keeps turning that way, I reap him, I start to heel hook him. If he turns back to stop it, I'm going right back into my knockdown, and we're back here, okay? So the trick here, guys, is to invert our leg. So my knee comes from outside of his hips, and it points down to the mat with a short foot here. Then I cross my ankles, and I actively pinch my knees down towards the mat, pointing them down. This will expose his heel. When he's here, I have a good bite. He really doesn't want to turn this way because that'll put power into the break of the lock. Okay, so he either rolls or he taps. If he, if he taps, I let go. If he rolls, I follow him through. From here, I keep a strong pinch here to stop him from re-rolling and finish him. Okay, so we're just practicing framing. We're basically framing here, hip escaping, pointing our knee down to the mat. We don't want to do this if he's standing tall because he'll heel hook the shit out of us. 
And if it's in a competition, it can get really awkward here. Yeah, we don't want this scenario here. But when he's close, he's not gonna grab that leg. I just need to invert my knee, clear the collar tie, and then we're in. All right, let's practice this on three. One, two, three.